welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a very special video because I've promised this video to you for some time now, uh, maybe over a year, I don't know exactly, but I've been telling you I'm going to get to this, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to get to it. So today, we got to it. And what is it that we got to today, you're asking, right? Well, you could tell by the title of this video, but uh, we're going to take a look at a one color halftone. How do we do a one color halftone, or what I like to call a one color spot and dot? You just gotta love the quotations, right? <clears throat> spot and dot. Okay, so what we're talking about is a halftone combined with some spot colors. So I have a very simple design that I'm gonna do today, and a couple of things to note. All of the instruction and tips and advice that I'm talking about in the artwork section of this video is about printing a one color halftone in black ink on white t-shirts, okay? If you are thinking about printing a halftone on a dark shirt, am I Captain Kirk or something? Maybe I am Kirk. Um, if you're thinking about printing a halftone on a dark shirt, a black t-shirt, then there's something you need to know. And it's very simple, actually. Instead of working with your photographic image as a positive, you're going to reverse that or invert it to a negative in Photoshop before you bring it into Illustrator or CorelDRAW or whatever vector software that you use, okay? So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at how I set up the artwork in Illustrator and how I output the film positives, okay? And then in the next video, we're going to actually burn the screen and do the printing. So today, let's just talk about what it takes to create the artwork for a one color spot and dot. All right, so I have my film positives here, and let me just note that first of all, before I go into the artwork segment of this video, this is supposed to read, uh, this is a Ben Franklin design. It's kind of like, you know, with all the, you know, political things going on and, and um, you know, the terrorism and all this kind of stuff. This is a quotation from Ben Franklin, or actually a quotation that was attributed to Ben Franklin, but not necessarily were the exact words he said. But uh, he who sacrifices freedom for security deserves neither. Okay, so the reason I'm pointing that out is because in the next part of this video where we look at the artwork in Illustrator, you'll notice that I lost the Y in security. And it says, he who sacrifices freedom for security deserves neither. Okay, but don't worry. I fixed that when I did the film positives. Okay, and here, take a quick look. This is what we're going for. This is, the, this is the positive, film positive, that we're going to use to make t-shirts. This is the one that we're going to go over with the artwork now. And this one is the invert. This is the negative one, okay? And we'll look at these in the printing. When we do the printing section of this video, I'll burn both screens and I'll show you the difference between the way the, the black ink printer will print on a white shirt and the white ink printer will print, 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 print on a black shirt. Getting a little tongue-tied there. Okay, so that's, that's what we have is, is with half tones, if you're going to do uh, white shirts or black shirts, you're going to need two different film positives. And basically, the only difference between the two is that you're inverting the, the photographic image part of this to a negative and then you'll half tone the negative in Illustrator. Without further ado, we will go look at the artwork in Illustrator right now. Before I go, remember, this is done in Illustrator with an inkjet film positive system using RIP software, and we are working with a half tone that will be printed in black ink on white t-shirts, and the screen mesh that we will use is 200 count. We're going to use a 200 mesh screen for the artwork that I'm about to show you. So let's go. Let's go into the office. Let's get on the computer and show you how the art is done. So this is not as difficult as it appears to be. Like I said, you're going to need a vector graphic program like Illustrator or Corel Draw so that you can handle vector art. You're going to need an inkjet printer and of course you're going to need RIP software. The RIP software is what is going to make the photograph part a half tone. Okay, and basically, you know, it's very simple. The photograph we have here of Ben Franklin, 
was you know taken from a historical archive on the internet it was converted to black and white we pump the contrast a little bit and then we convert it to a halftone in Photoshop and that's it that's all you have to do you know pick out the parts of the photograph you want this one actually had a background that we took out okay and then simply converting it to a halftone image uh, with a little bit of contrast in Photoshop you end up with a little JPEG or a TIFF or whatever what have you like this okay and then basically all you're gonna do is when you come into your vector software like Illustrator is you're gonna come down and, and say place okay and then you would go ahead and pick your Ben Franklin photograph that you had created in Photoshop okay and you would tell Illustrator to place it and then it's gonna drop it in here just like that okay so that that's basically it the photographic part you're going to do the photographic work in Photoshop convert the color photograph into a grayscale and then import it or place into Illustrator and depending on what version of Illustrator you have it may be place which is right here or it could be import okay if it's an older version but basically you can place any JPEG file or image file into your vector program uh, by using place in, in Illustrator and, and I showed you that in some of the um, vector art software videos that I've done before I showed you how to import uh, images or import other files and bring them into Illustrator and that's basically the same thing for this that's all you're gonna do is create this in Photoshop get it to the halftone the uh, uh, grayscale rather that you want okay it's always good to pump the contrast a little bit okay and then you're gonna come into Illustrator and then you're gonna add the spot color attributes these are all spot color vector pieces of art here okay and now we've combined together what I like to call a spot and dot because we've got a halftone image that's going to be dot and then we've got spot colors all these little at, little objects stars and the banners and the text are all spot colors and they're going to print as a spot color okay so it's very easy to output our film positive from here at this point all you gotta do is go to print okay and now you gotta choose the appropriate printer your your inkjet printer that you run your rip software on and then in illustrator you're gonna go over here to this little box over here and you're going to click output and right away when you come over to mode if it's not um, you know open and allows you to pick anything that means you don't have any rip software this option will not be available to you if you do not have rip software okay so at this point we're on output composite we change it to separations host based and now you'll notice that down here it's brought up CMYK but it only is showing the process black because all we have in the image is black okay so that's all we need to print now what Illustrator is going to do is Illustrator will will print the spot color as a full spot and the halftone or the gradient uh, image as a halftone with dots so what we want to do is tell it what line per inch do we want normally I do about 45 for something like this I'll do 45 and the screen angle is actually not that critical for a one color halftone but generally 15 degrees I find works well okay so that's it there you go you're all set okay and at this point we would send this to rip software okay so what I'll do is just so that you can see what happens at this point all right I will send it to rip software okay and we'll watch the rip software come up and 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 then that's it that's basically that's basically all I can show you you know um, I'm not good in Photoshop I actually had my brother do this Photoshop part for me and and he he isolated this and did all this you know so that I could set this up and do this so if you're good with Photoshop then you have no problems taking images and changing them to a black and white gradient and pumping the contrast a little and then bringing it into Illustrator and then once you're an Illustrator you can do all your vector spot color work or anything that you want okay so it's pretty simple print 
we're going to um, choose the the printer that we want to use now I'm going to make sure it's on the right page size so I use custom because the document size in Illustrator is 11 by 17 okay now I'll go to output it's on composite we change it to host separations we go in here change this I'll do 45 LPI at a 15 degree angle done and print now hopefully the RIP software should uh, open up. Hey, there it goes. Yay, we didn't have a disaster making this video. Yahoo. Okay, so there we go. Okay, and there's the RIP software. And you can see I, I have Filmmaker DTP. Eh, you know, it's okay. It's all right. I, I don't necessarily endorse this RIP software or anything. Um, I'm hoping to one day maybe get a better RIP software and work closely with the company and, and um, endorsing it so uh, for right now I'm just using this filmmaker DDP because I got it uh, really cheap and uh, you know it does the job so there it is at this point you can preview it a little bit it's a very bad preview but you can see that it's half toning the uh, Ben Franklin area and the other area is not half toned and that's what you want that's a true spot and dot you don't want to do this straight out of Photoshop because it'll it'll create a bitmap half tone and basically everything gets half toned I believe a little bit and then your spot colors suffer okay so that's it let's get back to the shop and print some t-shirts okay very cool that's it we're back in the print shop we got to get ready to print some t-shirts now and I have both of the film positives that I'm gonna show you I've got the one that we just went over the positive film positive with the normal um, ben Franklin photographic image that is going to print in black ink on a white t-shirt. We have that one, okay? And I also printed one where Ben Franklin is a negative, and this is going to print in white ink on a black t-shirt, okay? So in the next video that I do, we're going to burn these two screens, and then we'll do some test prints, and I'll show you how these print what the difference is between the two, and why it is that you make two different film positives for white and black t-shirts when you're working with halftones. And quite frankly, that's something that should become habit when you're working with even spot color artwork, is that, that when, when you're working on white t-shirts, you can work in full positive. But then when you move to a black t-shirt, there are certain parts of a line image or a line drawing that you might want to reverse. And this is something that we'll look at more in the future. So make sure to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, comment below, rate thumbs up because if you want to see more complicated screen printing videos, more in-depth videos, I need your support. I need you. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah, and uh, thanks for watching. All right, so without the <laughs>